in my photography, it is all about the uplift, strength, dignity, power. Every one of my images is a black power image, if you can follow the narrative. Not in terms of saying uh, a slogan, but in terms of what we're presenting. This is where I chose to live, and I and I I take great pride in that. And, and I'm here under photography, but I've been active in this community um, for at least the past 20 years at least. So what I'm doing right now with um, a lot of the work is just documenting the place and the space that is West Philadelphia. A camera is a device that can freeze time. And if we look at it like that, we, we're moving with a different intention. We're not just snapping pictures, which we're, we're, we're trying to leave a legacy for our children. I've passed this, this house for decades now, and I, this is the first time that I've crossed the threshold. But this is a place that I have pointed out to my children as a, a, as a beacon of, of pride. Because the fact that, um, if you ask me who Paul Robeson Robes was, I would have to say he's a freedom fighter. Marco and his daughter Tatiana were returning home from the bodega when I saw them. I was running late to pick up my son Marcus from after school care, but there was something about the simultaneous strength and tenderness in which he held his child in, in hand that spoke to me and forced me to stop. I parked my car with haste and rallied back around the corner calling out, family, family, to them even though we had never met before. Marco turned around with the, the cautious suspicion of a protective father and sized me up as I asked to photograph them. I watched him fixing his lips to say no. After all, I wasn't armed with a stack of business cards or a fancy camera. I just had my iPhone and my word. Before the note could pass his teeth, I said, look, fam, to hear them tell it, you would think there are no black fathers in the inner city. To hear them tell it, we don't exist. They would have you believe that we're imaginary beings like unicorns. But from I leave my house until I come back, and I see fathers with their children just like I see you now. Marco waved, waved my words on, on the scale of his mind, looked down at Tatiana and held her that much tighter as he agreed to let me fo to as he agreed to let me make this photograph. When I was growing up, you know, Mama had to do photo album and, and that was that was our history book before it was in the history book. We were excluded from the history book, but we made our own and they were the family album. We I couldn't even touch mine. It was something that, you know, you couldn't just go play with because it was serious. But it's 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 where it's when you found out who you were, what you came from, and what came before you. Right now, in this moment right now, and I say this not out of vanity, but I say it um and I refer to getting to intention. The fact that I'm exhibited right now in people's homes is, a, is much more powerful and important to me than to have a, a gallery downtown for uh, you know a few nights. And it's that generational, mm -hmm. and, that, and that's what I'm going for. So. Black in America, in America, can feel like perpetually waiting for the other shoe to drop. This is just my take on something that we've, we've seen for years in the city. Um, but, and I've seen a lot of photos, I've never seen anyone photo, photograph looking up. This was around a time when they were just, and I don't, I don't want to say that it was a time because they're still doing it, but they were just every, you know, every week on the news, they, they shot down another brother or something goes on in the neighborhood. It just feels like we're just waiting for the, the another shoe or for the other shoe to drop. I started making these on a black background. Um, I call them, so I call them the Black Album. That's what I, anything from that series is called the Black Album. I love this portrait of the brother. It's strong, powerful, and dignified. Everything I do is very intentional, so um, I don't say take, I don't take pictures. 
Um, I, I, I have the mindset that I make pictures because it's an intentionality that's necessary.